Hello everyone, uh, my name is Raymond and today I'm going to describe how to use the display format and style expression options available in Warehouse Insight. On my screen you can see I have a standard Warehouse pick document. It's got some lines, a header information, some footer. We're going to go over how to configure the uh, display so you can show you know, a certain number of decimal places or format to percentages. Uh, also how to change the background color and the font color and some of the uh, font styles. So to do that, you need to go into Business Central and you need to find the application that you want to modify. So in this case here, so if I open up Applications, I'm going to find the Warehouse Pick Document. And that happens to be Pick Doc. And off on the right, you can see the Columns Fact Box. We'll just choose that and hit Configure. And you will get a list of all the fields that are being returned back to the handheld for that application. A lot of these aren't shown. Uh, they're hidden in just information fields. Uh, a lot of them are optional to configure. So we're going to take a look at the ones we specifically want to modify. So the best thing to do is just show examples of how to do this. So in our case here, we want to, or the first example, we're just going to change the background color of the item number uh, column to be green whenever the open quantity is zero. So the user's finished handling or processing that line. So back in the columns, we are going to find the column that we want to modify. So in that case, it was open quantity. So we can take a look at the caption here. Uh, it's column open quantity. So this ends up being the field, override field name quantity outstanding. So this is what we kind of need to, to reference whenever we're uh, doing an expression, we need to reference this field name. And it might be different than the actual, you know, table field name. This might be, you know, um, a calculated field or whatever it is. But whenever using anything within these uh, expression evaluations, we're going to need to reference override field name. So we're going to take this field, quantity outstanding. But we are on, we want to change the uh, item number field. So if I find item number, uh, call them item number. So this one here. And we scroll to the right and we see a field called style expression. Anytime we're referencing another field or any field within the, the data set, we need to put a bracket around the field name that we're referencing. So quantity outstanding was the field that we're referencing. And we want to say whenever that field is equal to zero, okay, we want to do something. Now this style expression controls whether or not the font style, the font color, or the background color uh, get applied, okay? The style expression needs to evaluate to a true value. So it can be a Boolean. So you could just say if you're, you know, completely shipped or completely picked was a Boolean field, you could just leave that as the field name. You don't need an equals true or anything like that. You can also just hard code it to be true. So always apply this expression or these uh, font styles or font colors to the line or it can also be a string so like you can put things in quotes like where the you know uh, pick document number equals a certain value you know set set the color to be red or something okay in this case here though we just want to say well whenever the user is fully finished handling that line we want to set the background color to be uh, green so background color, if you look at here, it just, it has to be um, a hexadecimal value. Okay, so you can look online, you can find, you know, uh, color wheels and all that stuff, and you can find the, you know, any color you want, and you can just be any shade of whatever. But we're just gonna use the standard, just right out of the box, easiest to know, you know, the hexadecimal value for green, which is 00FF00, okay? So we make that change, so quantity on standing equals zero, if we go back to our device, you don't need to reload the configuration or anything, but you do need to come back into that page. So if I choose that page again, and you can see there's no visible change. However, if I do a change quantity on this one, and I fully finish handling the line, you can see, well, it changed to green there. A couple of limitations now, you, you, uh, obviously they come to mind as soon as you see this. So one, the highlighting row gets overwritten by the background color that you're seeing. Uh, same with the font color. So the other thing is it doesn't do the entire row. We don't have anything right now to do a style expressions on the row. 
Okay, so if you do want to have the entire row be green, you would need to apply the same uh, style expression to those four columns, saying the same color. Okay. Uh, same thing, if you added more columns, you'd add those as well. Okay. Now, if we go in here and we change this one to be, you know, or this one here to set to three, or set it to two, still nothing changes because there's still one outstanding. If you change it again to be the full 10, you can see now that the expression shows it as being green. Okay, that's the first one there, just showing background colors uh, when the uh, line is changing. Let's try changing the font color. So if we were saying, let's, let's set the font color to be red whenever this certain bin is uh, chosen or shown. So we need to find that field first. So bin code, that is the field we also want to change. So bin code being the override field name. So we're going to go there and on the bin code one, we are going to say, well, when that bin code is equal to w-06-0001, okay? So you'll notice we put this in quotes here because it's a string value, but this also needs to be in quotes because it's also a string. We need this expression to result a comparison when say, or evaluation when bin code is equal to that. So anytime you're working with strings, they have to be in double quotes. Now, if we go back to our page, Oops, I'm going to reopen this one. Oh, yeah, so, okay, good point. So I did make the expression, but I didn't actually set the font color or anything like that. So like me, so we are going to take that and we'll make that red. So 0000FF. Great. Okay, so we got... That reset, now we'll go back to our device and that should pick up. So we'll reopen this. And we see a, oh, I, I changed it to blue. <laughs> so the uh, code for red is FF0000, but in case, yeah, that's fine. So we changed it to blue, so that's fine. We get, when this specific bin is set to 06, we get that expression to evaluate. You can also just do things like true, as I mentioned there. So we evaluated you know, a decimal value or a numeric value. Uh, we can also set down on the line, we can say you know, when the description is equal to, uh, well, let's just say when the description. So we want the field description. We always want it to just be something. So we're gonna change the expression. We just set that to true. So the spot style expression, I'll just bring that up a little bit. And we'll change the font style to be italics. Okay, so the description will always be italics because we've set it to hard coded true. If we change that back and we open that. And you can see down at the bottom now the description for the line is italicized. There is a limitation though when you're working with the grid, the font style property does not apply to grid rows. Okay, so it will only apply, you can apply the font style on the footer, you can apply the font style to the header. Uh, if you are working with the card view, the font style will apply, but just keep in mind that font style does not apply to the grid elements. Okay, and just showing at the header there as well, just another one. So we did the hard coded equals true, um, you know, the if we wanted to change this number field up here to be red, uh, you could put a style expression, you know, want a certain value this, or maybe the location is that, or assign to user is blank, maybe highlight something to red. But you can also do something like just one equals one. You know, instead of saying true, you could do that. And we'll change the font color. In this case here, we'll set it to uh, red. So zero, zero, or FF, zero, 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 zero. Do that. Come back into our page. And our document number should be read. And there it is. Okay, so we've done background colors, font colors, font styles. 
there are other ways to display or change the the coloring and stuff on the page and so let's say you want to change you know the open lines text or maybe the background color of this panel that you're seeing at the bottom or at the top stuff like that or you know uh, some of the column uh, font like just the background color for the columns you can do that but you have to use the uh, set property value block within the application designer so that's outside the scope of today but just if you are in the application designer and you want to make those kind of changes you can go onto our knowledge base and take a look at the set property block and it has a few examples of how to change some of the uh, the properties on the underlying elements behind the page itself so the last thing we want to cover today is how to use the display format option in uh, column as well so again this isn't isn't dependent on style expressions it's just using uh, it's always applied to the fields that are being returned back. So uh, we'll take the same open quantity uh, column. So that so we'll modify this open quantity here, this column here, to have two decimal places. So if we find that column, uh, it'll be open quantity. Uh, let's see here, this one, the quantity outstanding one. Okay, so open quantity. And we will do uh, display format. So we'll do two decimal places, 0, 0.00. Actually, let's make it three. So we'll do three decimal places. You can just do that. And I'll show you, like this is the standard uh, Microsoft display uh, formats. And I'll just show you a link at the end of this. So three decimal places for open quantity. And you can see here on open quantity, we now have three decimal places being shown there so not dependent on what you have on the device where it's set to two you can you know fix the format to be a certain format that way uh, it also does support things like uh, percentages and date formats and stuff like that so you know if you say you want to change the, uh, the value that they've entered at the bottom so let's say this quantity entered we want to make that a an amount field or a percentage field. You know, we wouldn't want to in this case, but we don't really have any good columns within the pick document to illustrate that. So quantity to handle, that's the field that's being entered. Uh, if we go down there to display format. Okay, so we could just do a uh, percentage, which is P, and then we're gonna set that to, um, you know, two decimal places. So we'll back that out, choose that. And all it's doing, it's giving us these extra percentage. You can see at the bottom here where the quantity enter is 500. So you get a percentage added to the end of it and with two decimal places, uh, you know, same thing with an amount fields and stuff like that. You can use that to, to set currency. So, you know, C being the uh, currency for expression. So C, if we just change that quickly, back this out, we should get a dollar sign at the end of that as well, instead of the percentage. Let's see it. Uh, so my currency, I think is <laughs> uh, my, my regional settings are uh, the UK right now. So it's a, a pound sign instead of the, uh, the dollar sign for uh, U.S. and Canada. So there you go. You get the ten dollars in the two decimal places. That's the extent of setting your background display formats and all that stuff that goes with it. I did want to mention though, like if you are using the display format uh, column, you can go on to Microsoft Learns here and you can take a look at the standard options that you have available for you. So in this case here, we have standard numeric format strings. So you know, some examples down here, but you can see where we use the C for currency, uh, decimal pl places, that kind of stuff. Uh, standard date formats, if you're using that, you know, you can you format your date formats into something else and, you know, a long format, short format, special, you know, you want to show just the date or that you want to convert it into the, the day of the week instead of showing the actual date. So you got all those options. You can take a look at those and you can use that to configure the display formats. Well, hopefully you got some value out of this. And if you have any questions, let support know, and I'm sure they'd be happy to help you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content and remember to hit that bell icon to stay updated. 
see you in the next video.